Hello folks, um, in this video I'm going to talk about uh, another designer knife from Spyderco. Um, this is the C48 uh, Tim Wagner. Now, uh, if you're not familiar with the name, uh, Tim is a well-known hunter in the uh, Pacific Northwest and he's also the owner of uh, Blade Tech Industries. Blade Tech uh, manufactures uh, Kydex holsters for guns and these are highly uh, revered by people in the tactical uh, combat handgunning community in the US. Now Tim is an avid hunter and uh, he has been doing so for, for decades and he actually came out uh, with a hunting knife uh, that is similar to this. This, uh, this is a factory made one. Uh, he had uh, a knife maker, uh, Phil Bogozulski, to make him a custom version of, of the hunting knife. Now, on the Wagner, you can see that the blade is slightly upswept and it has a very aggressive uh, drop point and um, with, with uh, a checkered uh, thumb ram and a stainless steel spacer. Now this is a very robust uh, piece of uh, tool, you know, and uh, it's, it's actually uh, purpose built. Its design, it's uh, really uh, astonishing to me. And Spyderco released this knife uh, sometime in the late 90s and uh, they had a smaller version called the uh, Wagner Jr. And uh, the blades were made with the uh, uh, plain edge and partial serration. Now, what I like about the Wagner is the fact that it's a, a pretty solid piece of knife to have around and uh, with this, actually, I've, I've actually skinned uh, a barking deer. Now, uh, I don't think uh, this is uh, available anymore in the market. Since it was discontinued, I think, a couple of years later uh, to make way for other designer knives. And the Wagner remains as one of the most uh, respectable uh, knives among uh, hunters. Um, I believe if you can uh, look at uh, the ones designed by uh, Bogozuski, uh, are much more, much more elegant and what. But uh, what they have here, this is a, a simple uh, uh, version with a thermoplastic handle. Um, it it. Uh, it was made by uh, Spyderco's uh, contract manufacturer in Japan uh, to get it available for, for the mass market. In fact, uh, the piece I have here is actually numbered uh, 734. It's, it's one of the first uh, run from Spyderco. Uh, subsequently, Spyderco uh, continued with this knife until uh, it came to... Uh, uh, you know the end of its uh, uh, f uh, production and uh, there's another knife that is made uh, by Spyderco uh, in collaboration with Tim Wagner which I'm going to uh, touch on later in another video um, yeah that's you know to, to put it in a nutshell that's the uh, C48 Tim Wagner thank you for watching